This is going to be a big year for your home theater. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. When you cover tech news like I do, there's one question that everyone gets really worked up about, and that's when's the next Apple iPhone, iPad, iPod coming? We'll take a breather, folks, because Apple CEO Tim Cook has just announced that new Apple products are coming in the fall. So enjoy the spring weather. Go on a summer vacation. The fun stuff is coming in the fall. And that could even mean something like an iWatch or a new take on Apple TV. Cook said that Apple is looking to grow into new product categories, but that's all he would say. In the meantime, Samsung's big iPhone rival is about to hit U.S. stores. The Galaxy S4 review is live on CNET. This is a top of the line phone packed to the brim with features. There are so many features that you probably won't even use them all. Like how about using your phone as a TV remote or pausing a video by looking away from the screen. Basically, there are many things you can do to show off to your friends. The phone is scheduled to arrive at AT&T stores and at Radio Shack on Saturday. Now Sprint will take more online orders on Saturday and T-Mobile is going to take online orders on Monday and Verizon, well, they'll get the phone sometime in May. And if you go to Best Buy, you'll start to see these Samsung mini shops. By June, about 1,400 Best Buy stores will have these little hubs called the Samsung Experience Shop, staffed by Samsung employees. Some Best Buys also have these Apple mini stores, but these Samsung ones will have a larger presence. The worst kept secret at Microsoft is finally confirmed. A new Xbox is coming and it'll be revealed at a press event on May 21st, so mark your calendars to follow CNET for the unveiling of the new game system. And as we look into the future, this could be an interesting year for Amazon. Bloomberg reported that Amazon plans to release a television set-top box this fall and it'll stream video. This is a bit strange since you can already get Amazon content on other devices. It's as if Netflix made its own streaming box, but we'll keep you posted as more details emerge. Twitter is said to be working on a way to make its login system more secure from hackers by using a two-step authentication process. It's kind of like how Facebook or Gmail will send a code to your smartphone to double check your identity. This news comes from Wired after a group hacked the Twitter accounts for the Associated Press and CBS by sending out password phishing emails. You see employees were fooled into clicking a link in an email that said it was from a coworker, and from there the hackers were able to steal Twitter logins. That's your tech news update. You'll find more details on these stories at CNET.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.